Hello, I am Drag, and today was kind of like a tutorial video. It's also thunderstorming outside, so if you can hear that, I do not apologize. Today, I kind of wanted to go over this like sort of painterly sketch, but not really a sketch art style that I see a lot, like a lot on all the art sites. When I was younger, I definitely wanted to get into it, but I had no idea how to start. So I feel putting what I would have wanted to see out there worked. So to start out, like we always do the sketch, you know, sketches, go with sketches, go with sketches. You can be pretty loose with this. It doesn't really matter how you go about it. It's a sketch, you just kind of do it. It doesn't really matter how clean or messy you are as long as you understand what the subject is and like what you're going to be doing with this sort of painting slash sketch over style i do recommend like having a very not necessarily set in stone design but you need to be able to be flexible with it you can't be too strict with what you want to do just just have the general idea because stuff will change here we have my character chester holding a chestnut this was this was actually a tiktok response that i was making because uh as you guys know Ch chester is a chestnut yeah, so that's why he's holding a chestnut. It, 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 it's, it's, it's funny. It's funny. Okay, okay. So we're on to the colors now. Basically, what I like to do is I like to open a layer underneath it, underneath the sketch layer. You just fill that in. It does not matter if the colors overlap. If the color, like, just, just, just keep it all on the same layer. If you need to change something, use a selection tool or something like that. Just make sure that it's all, you know on the same level and make sure that they are harmonious. I don't know if that's the right word. Make sure that they go with the color of the lines because if they're if they're not in the same hue, by what I mean by that, sorry, 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 not, not hue. If they're not in the same saturation level, same hue, same value, if they're not in that, then it's really going to stick out and the lines are not going to look good. I will pop up an example right now of what that looks like. <laughs> yeah, you don't want it to look like that. What I'm doing now is basically with this painter style, you collapse the layers together and then you just kind of just go ham. All the colors, everything is going to be on the same layer. All the shading, all the line work, same layer. If you're going to add effect layers, you do that afterward, which I will show you guys after. Generally, it's just painting, like quote unquote painting. This is the most anxiety riddling thing for me personally, because ah, uh, I need I need my line art layers. I need me line art layers. I just cannot deal without me line art layers. Ah, uh, I need them because um, for me, basically, I'm I'm a perfectionist as these things go, which is why this art style is like it's it's a mixed bag for me. I know one artist. That's like, oh yeah, I love it. I, I love collapsing all the layers together because it's just so freeing. And I'm like, how is it freeing? How is it freeing? But then again, they make amazing art. So you know what? What works for them works for them. But I personally like to do this for things that don't necessarily need to be the most refined, but it would look a lot better if they were. That's usually when I use this particular method because it looks, it looks the best to me, honestly. I also think that it works really well with sticker designs because with stickers, it basically keeps you from being too overly detailed because with on a sticker design, you do not want to be overly detailed unless that is what you're going for. But most of the time, a sticker is just an accessory. You just slap it on something and you do not want it to have any of that. Otherwise, you know, any of the extra fluff, I should say. Otherwise, you know, it'll look not the best. We are closing in on the end. Um, so like, here's uh, me adding all the effects. And uh, yeah, so that is how, so this is how I personally do this coloring method. Um, if you are looking into doing something like this, I highly recommend it. At the very least, just to, you know, learn new methods of coloring. Hey, you might even find you like it. So uh, yeah, that will be the video. Uh, thank you for watching and listening. Please follow me on all my other social medias. Got a Twitter. Instagram, Twitch, and I recently opened up a Discord. So if you want to like, you know, look at all that stuff, I highly recommend going to going going in there. But uh yeah, until next time. Bye.